Friends, I'm Tom Kruger, and welcome to my show where we review the unknown. No. Today... Hello, Father. Ah, Regia, have you come to vanquish me? Yes, I've arrived ahead of time, and my friend Marmigate is paralleling the overall infantry. Ha <laughs> Suck it, Robotnik! <laughs> wait, wait. Should I be helping Gurk with something? No. Nah. Nah, who who can Nah who who cares? He can he can take care of it. Very well. I'll do one last review before you vanquish me. Doctor Zombie, activate the sun gun. But master, won't you get disintegrated? Don't worry, I've got my shield up. Alright, I'll get started. What will you do in the meantime? Oh, I'll do review to stall time. You'll have a lot of... Draws. With Summer appearing in our midst, I felt it was only proper that we talk about an essential part of Summer, nature. But what happens when that nature goes mad and starts attacking people? You get what I call the nature attack subgenre of horror. And there are plenty of movies, from Piranha to Frogs, Night of the Lepus, Them, Them, The Birds. But if, I, but if we had to pick just one nature attacks horror today that's appropriate, it would be the 1975 horror classic, Jaw. Based on the book by Peter Benchley, Jaws, if you don't know, is about the about the seaside town of Amity Island that gets attacked by a shark. And when the greedy mayor or and anybody else won't do anything, it's up to three men, Chief Martin Brody, played by Roy Scheider, Oceanographer Matt Cooper, played by Richard Dreyfus, and Drunken Sea Captain Quint, played by Robert Shaw, are to go out and kill the shark once and for all. Now there are three three reasons why Jaws is the king of all nature attacks films. The first being the characters and how every character is in some way likable from Chief Brody being the corp of the small town who cares for the town and safety and from to Matt being being very enthusiastic with his his work, and even Quint, who has a tragic backstory and his drunken sailor attitude, even characters who you might not like at first glance, like the mayor, who's very greedy, or even the wife, they're all in some ways likable, and. And the second thing that makes it good is its horror and suspense. Because in this type, in normally in these types of movies, you would see all sorts of shots of the creature. But in this case, you only see the sh you only see two you only see the point of view, and you, and or even brief glimpses. Plus. Plus, all the com plus John Williams' score perfectly accompanies it all, and not to mention you're always anticipating when the shark will show up. The third and final thing that makes it great, and this is something you might not realize on first viewing, is its theme of greed and how danger and how safety, when not applied in certain situations, can be quite dangerous. Anyway. Those are one. Those are three of many reasons why Jaws is king. And um, if you haven't seen this movie, which I don't understand, go see it the first chance you get. You will be amazed. Now that you're done with your review, I can finally vanquish you. Oh, before you do that, uh, you might not want to be such a hot head.
Ha! You've won this time, but mark my words. I will destroy you, Adam Father, Mama Kid. You've been no help. Let's go. Ugh. What is it? What is it over? Uh, come on, angry ma. Let's just go home. Well, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed our trip into the nature attack subgenre. And until we meet again, I'm Count Kruger, wishing you pleasant nightmares.